Welcome, boys and girls. Welcome back to Wednesday Wisdom. Yes, this is Wednesday Wisdom in which we take a nugget of God's word just to apply to our daily Christian walk so that we can finish the week off well. Boys and girls, I know there are many things that are hitting you left and right and temptations are common and um, you don't know what to do with those temptations, boys and girls, or those difficulties that are happening in your life. Well, boys and girls, there's an answer to every single thing that you are going through in life. And that is found in the word of God. Your answers are found in the word of God. So I wanna encourage you boys and girls to take this negative wisdom, but most importantly, begin to read the word of God, study the word of God to show yourself approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of God so that you can apply it to your daily Christian walk. This week, we start our one of clubs, A-W-A-N-A, -A -A, Approved Workmen Are Not Ashamed Clubs, in which we boys and girls um, just pour into your hearts the word of God so that you will have the word written on your heart that you might not sin against God. So please join us on Wednesday nights at 6.30 for Awana Clubs. Amen? Amen. So we are going to pray and then be on our way. Amen? Let us pray. Father, we thank you. Thank you for this time that you have brought us together to just study another nugget of your word. Bless these children, dear Lord. Open up their hearts and minds to receive your word. And may something be said that will inspire them to want to do what is right, what is pleasing and acceptable unto you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So boys and girls, we're going to pause for a moment and then go right into the word. Amen. Amen. All right, boys and girls, now we're getting ready to go into the word for today. Our message will be coming from 2 Chronicles chapter 20. 2 Chronicles chapter 20. There's a verse that I'm going to pull out of there, that little nugget that I'm going to pull out there in just a moment, okay? And the title of today's lesson is, When Your Back is Against the Wall. When your back is against the wall. What do you do, boys and girls, when your back is against the wall? In other words, there are difficulties that comes in your life and you don't have no control over them. What do you do when your back is against the wall? In other words, boys and girls, what do you do when you hear that mom and dad is going to separate? That is a extremely difficult one, boys and girls. What do you do in that particular case? What do you do when you are being bullied every single day? Well, that's a difficult one. You makes you don't even want to get up and go to school because of how you are being treated. What do you do when you are having difficulties with your math and are failing over and over? You study for the test, you practice the test, but you still fail over and over again. And you don't know why you are still continuing to fail. What do you do when your back is against the wall? What do you do, boys and girls, when you and your parents are living in a home where there's no food? Yes, you open up the refrigerator and all you see, boys and girls, is a jug of water. What do you do when your back is against the wall, boys and girls? Many say, um, there's even a song that says, hang on in there. Hang on in there. Yes, you can hang on in there, boys and girls, but there's something else that you can do that will really, truly make the difference. What you can do when your back is against the wall, boys and girls, is pray. Yes, pray, boys and girls. Pray to the one who is able to do exceeding abundantly above whatever you can ask of him. Yes, you pray. Pray to God, boys and girls. That is what you can do when your back is against the wall. And there's a scripture or passages of scripture that coming from 2 Chronicles chapter 20 and verse number one. There is this, um, it's about this king. His name is Jehoshaphat. Jeho Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat, he was a king now, but there was these enemies, the Moabites, the Ammonites, and some of the Menunites, they waged war against Jehoshaphat. And this was a vast army that was just going to overwhelm um, the children of Israel, the kingdom of Israel, and just destroy everything. And Jehoshaphat knew that he had no chance of winning this wall, this war. His back was against the wall. So guess what Jehoshaphat did, boys and girls? The Bible says in 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 5 through 12, he prayed. Yes, he even um, encouraged everybody else to what? To pray. Pray unto the God who is able to do all things. Pray to God, because if we don't pray to God, we are going to be destroyed. So Jehoshaphat encouraged the other people to fast and pray, and he prayed. They prayed unto the mighty God. And here's the thing, boys and girls. When we pray unto God, 
believing God hears our prayers. God heard the prayers of um, Jehoshaphat. And what he did is he answered the prayer. And here's how he answered the prayer. In 2 Chronicles chapter 20 and verse number 15, it says this. It says um, one of the um, persons who was a monster one praying, God gave this message to him to give to Jehoshaphat. He said, listen, King Jehoshaphat and all who live in Judah and Jerusalem. This is what the Lord says to you. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of the vast army. For the battle is not yours, it's God. In other words, because Jehoshaphat prayed unto God, God said, I got this one. This battle is too big for you and your back is against the wall. I got it. This battle is mine and not yours. So boys and girls, when you are going through whatever the situation may be, be it a separation of, um, of your parents, be it bullies in school, be it failing in, in, in your grace, being hungry because of no food, boys and girls, what should you do when your back is against the wall, boys and girls? Pray. The battle does not have to be yours. It is God. There are things that you, uh, as a child, boys and girls, are not going to be able to handle. And there are things that even your parents won't be able to handle. So what do you do, boys and girls? You pray. God wants to hear from you. So that is your answer. When your back is against the wall, what should you do? Pray. Pray, boys and girls. Pray for the small things. Pray for the big things, whatever they are. God wants to hear from you, and God will, is able to do the impossible. It may seem impossible to man, for man, or for you, or for your parents, or for anyone, but it's not impossible for God. You pray, boys and girls, believing that God is able. Amen? Amen. So that's your nugget of wisdom for today, boys and girls. When your back is against the wall, pray unto God. And just as God did it for Jehoshaphat and said, this battle is not yours, it's mine, he will do the same for you. God bless you and may God keep you. Don't be worried about those big things when your back is against the wall. You get on your knees and you pray to God and you cry out to him and ask him to help you so that you can can survive whatever it is that you're facing when your back is against the wall. Amen. Amen. Boys and girls, I pray that this message has been a blessing to you. Until we see you again, what do you do when your back is against the wall? You pray. Amen. Amen.